So Mike reporting for ESCCAS.com. The English side of ESCCAS would like to do their daily review now. So it's first rehearsal, semi-final one, first half. So we'll kick off with uh, Daniel Gould, who is sofa bet. Uh, Daniel, the highlights from today for you? Uh, it was a slightly underwhelming day. The first half of the first semi is supposed to be the strongest one in, of, the, of the four. And I felt there were only three really competent rehearsals. Um, that was Australia, Sweden and Finland. I don't count Portugal because we have the stand-in singer. So I'm leaving that one alone. But I felt those three were very competent. Um, they both all come up with, we know what Sweden's given us. We know what Finland's given us. They're giving us the same as in the national finals. The Australia concept is strong and looks professional. I felt that plenty of the others were weak. I thought Belgium, um, the performance was weak and she still needs um, to improve her stagecraft. I thought Montenegro was very disappointing. Um, and I thought Albania and Georgia were also disappointing. Okay, so for me, I can sum it up in one word the whole day, dull. So really, because, uh, yeah, really for me, the whole thing, what I actually did see on the screens, the actual highlight for me was Montenegro. I mean, if if that's the highlight of this first half of this semi, the up-tempo number, then really a viewer's going to be switching off in droves. So, Desiree, we'll come to you. Maybe you'd like to talk about uh, Belgium, Finland and Montenegro for you. Um, well, with Belgium, I was also uh, quite disappointed because... First of all, I already don't think that the song is so great as everyone thinks it is. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't really do much for me uh, at all. And I had hoped that the stage show would uh, change my opinion on it a bit. But yeah, she's just standing there. There's nothing happening on stage. So mm -hmm. that's really not much more that I can say about it. Okay, so coming to David from The Scotsman. David, highlights for you today? Oh, I think we have to talk about the horse. Uh, okay. From us, keep it clean, keep it clean. Absolutely, what a strange and bizarre performance that was. But Sorry. she sings it. She sings it really well. I mean, her or the backing singers? Well, it doesn't really matter, yeah. does it? It's the whole performance that counts, and the horse. It's just really, really bizarre. Yeah. Um, but that was one of the standouts for me today. Other standouts, obviously Sweden, because I'm a big Swedish fan. No, re really. No, I know, I know. It's it's unusual but there we are um, <laughs> Sweden was Fabi um, Australia I don't get I'm sorry um, you know spin them round on a plate yeah I'm with you on Australia to be honest I don't get it either yeah whatever yeah. I wouldn't even have them qualifying from that mm -hmm. today I'm sorry Belgium such a disappointment I really feel bad mm -hmm. for her um, and Finland Sue Herb. Okay, cool. Coming over to Chris now, new ESC Cas team member. So your first day complete in the press center for the very first time ever, first time with accreditation. Tell me what what it was like for you. Well, I think uh, actually there wasn't that many uh, situations where I was just completely overwhelmed by it. And and basically, I mean, I've been following the rehearsals closely from home for for many years, and therefore I didn't feel like. Uh, yeah, I had to too much to adjustment to do okay. it, but it's still a different experience, of course. And the highlight performance for you today? Well, there's a saying: it's no risk, no glory. And I think in that case, I I would have to say Azerbaijan. Actually, yeah. I mean, right now it doesn't work. Yeah. It's it's a mess. The camera work needs to tighten up a lot, okay. and I I'm also not sure if she's a good enough actor to actually sell this kind of madness insanity uh, kind of concept that she's trying to sell but yeah um, in that sense it stood out a mile by by just going for something completely different and I would also add Georgia to the ones actually that looked competent and professional because just Tamara has has stagecraft and I, I, I think Georgia is gonna perhaps be in the conversation of qualification after all coming to Daniel who's our cameraman now he obviously can't speak so Daniel I'm just gonna say the name of the country and you can either nod the camera or shake it to one side so Sweden nod the camera yeah Georgia side to side <laughs> Albania mm, middle no okay Australia no highlight day for you maybe was Azerbaijan yeah okay guys uh, one performance today from all of you we've already come for that. I got that from Chris one performance today from all of you that stood out Desiree Montenegro David Sweden uh, Finland and we already know Azerbaijan with you so uh, what are we looking forward to tomorrow to tomorrow um 
Who are tomorrow? I, I have. Remember. Can you remember yeah. who tomorrow? I'm, I'm looking forward to Armenia. Yes. Because it's Fabi. Okay. Oh yes, Armenia definitely for me as well. And. Do we have Bulgaria tomorrow as well? No, it's second no, semi. Second semi. Yeah. Second semi. yeah. yeah. Uh, as well as Armenia, um, I'm looking forward to Greece. Okay. Triana Park. Triana Park. Where do we draw the line? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so that's it for for day one. Uh, today was. Probably one of the least stressful days I've ever had at Eurovision. Everything seemed to work from the very first minute that we walked into the press center. And in actual fact, we were in the press center early. Rehearsals even started early, which was a huge bus, so a bonus. So kudos to Ki uh, Kiev and the volunteers and all the organization for that. Everything seems to have run like clockwork. No real issues in that respect at all. So thanks for everybody for your time today, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.